Today, we're going to tell you about the world's most perfect travel destination, Raja Ampat, Indonesia. Today's video is a travel guide to help you get to this very remote location full of white sand beaches, which happens to be the world's best diving and snorkeling spot. It's the one place left in the world that isn't overrun by tourists. And it is so much more affordable than say the Maldives or Bora Bora, and it's even more beautiful underwater. Now it's a little hard to get to, but in today's video, we're gonna share with you how to get to this remote paradise including flight information and ferry service. We'll also tell you about the resort we stayed at and how you can book this hidden gym. We're John and Bev, and we are the Retirement Travelers. If you're just finding us, we are a senior travel couple who are traveling the world in retirement. We have no home, we just travel. We also have a website where we post additional information about our travels, so head over there and sign up for our newsletter retirementtravelers.com. Now people ask us all the time, how do we choose a place to go? Well, our method for finding Raja Ampat was basically just a simple Google search. Where's the world's best snorkeling and diving? Hands down, the clear winner was Raja Ampat. Yeah, when putting together our Southeast Asia itinerary, we knew we wanted to make the effort to get there. Now, we had recently traveled to the South Pacific and visited Bora Bora and Morea and knew those places were also on everyone else's best of the best list as well. The big difference for us was that those places were just full of tourists. That's right. So let's talk about why this place is so special. First, Raja Ampat is breathtaking. Now, it's, it's located in West Papua, Indonesia. It includes over 1,500 islands and there are 1,700 species of fish. I, I think we saw most of them. Yeah, so. And 600 species of coral. Raja Ampat is often referred to as the epicenter of marine biodiversity. It is placed within an area called the Coral Triangle. Now, it is estimated that this area has over 75% of the world's known coral species. It is located at the confluence of the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific Ocean. At the end of this video, we're going to show you one of our days out on the water, so stay tuned you know, for that. But now, let's just talk about getting there. First, there are no international flights to the area. The only flight path we know is to fly to the city of Sarong from Jakarta or Makassar in Indonesia. But from the U.S., you could fly to any major city in Asia and make your way to Jakarta. We flew on Garuda Airlines from Jakarta, and we have to say it was a pretty good airline. Now, we took the Red Eye flight, which left around midnight and flew for four hours. With the time change, we landed about six in the morning. Now, a pro tip is to bring some Indonesian money with you because you can't pay for you know, a ferry or a taxi uh, with credit cards. They just don't take credit cards in Sarong much. Uh, if you go to our resort, you'll need cash for the boat rides as well, so come prepared. Our resort was booked on booking.com and we will leave the link below. Now upon landing, we hailed a taxi over to the ferry port where we waited for our ferry to arrive and take us to Wasai. We purchased tickets at the counter. There, there are no pre-purchase options. There are two classes of service, regular and VIP, and it leaves twice a day, 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. The ferry is used to transport locals and goods, but the VIP room has air conditioning with large sofas, which isn't exactly the perfect place to uh, sleep, but that is exactly what everybody did. Yeah. They slept. If you're taking a ferry, we highly recommend you get the VIP room because you will be sleepy and you'll have a place to sit and relax. Once we landed in the town of Wasai, we exited the ferry, and now it's a little bit chaotic on the dock, but the people there will direct you. Just ask for the tourist office. A man walked us around the dock to a small building, and it's here that we had to purchase a visitor entry ticket. All visitors to Rajan Pot must pay a small tourist tax. Our resort had reached out to us to you know, help us get to their private island from the ferry port, and our resort host was waiting for us. We boarded a small wooden boat where we sat on small cushions and he took us to the Wasai Resort and Spa. It took us about an hour to get there. <laughs> you gotta be short on this boat. It's a long boat, but it's also a short boat. Because <laughs> the ceiling's only about three foot tall. We met a father and son while we were on the plane and they told us they were staying actually at a homestay. 
this is a common way to visit and we now know this is a great option and it's probably a more affordable stay. You know, some people also we met were on a live aboard boat, taking them around to the various dive spots. This is a more expensive op option than our resort, but it looked like fun as well. We arrived at our resort and discovered that there were about seven bungalows on the beach. The resort had one other couple staying there, but we practically had the whole island to ourselves. Uh, the dining area was over the water where we ate each meal. Our reservation included three meals a day and they were always perfect for us. You know, well balanced, not super fancy, but they were homemade and delicious. Now, our bungalow is just steps away from the water's edge and, and you know, just the gentle sound of, of waves were mesmerizing. We had a private bath and a fan and the temperature was pretty perfect. So there was really no need for air conditioning. And because it's a private island, the resort actually tries to conserve electricity. So they shut the power off and Wi-Fi for a few hours each morning and each afternoon. But we had the ability to go snorkel on the beach and we did this pretty much every day. The best part of our stay was the staff. They were attentive and helpful. We just loved them. Uh, we really enjoyed the diving crew too. I think we paid $50 each for uh, to go diving plus a tip. And this included a guide that snorkeled with us. We stopped at a local village and took a rest and, and the crew provided us snacks too. Yeah, we then splurged on a very affordable <laughs> couples massage at the spa. It was awesome. It was only like $35 each and it will probably be one of our all time favorites because while you're getting a massage, you could look down through a hole in the floor and watch the fish swim by. Just how perfect was that? It was pretty perfect. One day, the staff took us for a walk around the island to show us the colony of a thousand flying foxes who hang out there during the day. Now, these are the world's largest bats. They come and go to other islands, and one night we sat on the dock and we watched them fly over at dusk. It was just perfect. Now, when we left, we decided to take the boat all the way back to Sarong and skip the ferry. Now, this took about, say, two hours to get back, and while we had to sit on the bottom of the boat again, it was a shorter travel day, and we really you know, recommend arranging this with the resort and skipping the ferry. It costs about $150 each. It was a little bumpy for two hours. A little bumpy, but still a shorter day. <laughs> now, when we landed, the resort took us to our hotel in a taxi, and we stayed at the Aston Hotel near the airport. We loved this hotel and highly recommend it if arriving late in the day or taking the early flight out the following day. Now, they had an incredible kitchen staff and a huge breakfast buffet. It was just lovely hotel with a beautiful pool. It's probably the best option in Sarong and it's so close to the airport. Yeah, I would agree there. You know, we can't wait to return to this place. I mean, it is a paradise. It's one of our favorite destinations in the world and we think it was well worth the extra effort to get there. You know, our resort cost about $300 a night, but this is a bargain compared <laughs> to what we saw in Bora Bora or the Maldives. You know, the, with the food being included, we'd say it's overall an affordable location. You know, the only downside is the time and effort to get there, but you know, that's what keeps the tourist numbers down, which we think is a win-win. We will leave you with a little video of our time snorkeling. It was one of those experiences that we will never, ever forget. I don't think I've ever seen anything in my entire life that was more beautiful. Uh, we can't wait to bring the grandkids here one day to see it with us. So if you have a question, ask us in the comments below. And, and if you have a travel tips for this area, we'd love to hear them. Please share them with our viewers. We'll see you next time and enjoy. I've had some good days And I've had some worse But none compared to the days that I had with you And I've had some high times And I've had some cursed But none compared to the times that I I take out a loan for just one day alone To 
run back the time in slow motion I'd sell my guitars, I'd spend life behind bars To take one more trip through the story night Cause this was the best day of my life Thanks for the best day of my life Gold in your eyes, sun. Glow in your face. Like a seaside sunrise somewhere along the PCH. It's cold in New England. May that chill grant you grace. The grace to remember sunny. Not a place. I take out a loan for just one day alone to run back the time in slow motion. I'd sell my guitars, I'd spend life behind bars to take one more trip through the starry night. Cause this was the best day of my life. Thanks for the best day of my life Can't promise you ease Can't promise you peace, my boy But with heart on my sleeve I'll give you every bit of me I'll give you every bit of me I'll take out a loan for just one day alone To run back the time in slow motion I'll sell my guitars, I'll spend life behind bars To take one more trip through the story night This was the best day of my life Thanks for the best day of my life Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.